I want to take a quick moment and do a fast review and unboxing of the Fortress Ultra Quiet Series air compressor from Harbor Freight. Now these are the Fortress brand from Harbor Freight. Now they have three compressors right now. They have the Central Pneumatic and then the next tier up is the McGraw and then they have the Fortress which is supposed to be you know, even better than McGraw. Now Fortress also has these lines of extremely ultra quiet compressors. They kind of remind me of California Air Systems which is what had me really excited because they are a fraction of the price and the reviews right now are pretty decent on how well these hold up. So I want to take a look at one and see if it's all that. I want to point out how quiet the claims are based on the chart on the side of the box. Now you can see it is rated all the way from silent, which is, you know, library atmosphere is how they label it. And that's 50 dBAs all the way up to a pain barrier, which would be the air raid siren at 140 dBAs. Now, supposedly this is only 60 dBAs, which would be in between a vacuum cleaner, which they call quiet, but I have a Kirby and it's not quiet and uh, the library. So in between there's 60 dBAs. I'm kind of excited to see just how quiet this compressor is. Now let's take a look inside the box and see what we have. We have a manual, which could be handy, and a handle, and everything is just kind of packed pretty well, pretty decent actually. It's in a bag, as you can see, and this unit appears to be unharmed, which is kind of how I expected it because the box is in very good condition. Now I'm going to start out by saying I actually purchased this for my dad. He wanted something to replace a pancake compressor. Just something small, something lightweight that he could handle. He wouldn't have to fire up his big compressor uh, for nail guns and things like that. It just kind of makes it handy. And I thought this would be great for that. So I bought this for him. And they had two different flavors in the store of this kind of style and size of the Fortress. So, you know, the handheld to kind of replace pancake style. There's two different types of those. There's a smaller one, and this is the bigger of the two. Now you can see by the size of my hand... It's not very big, which is exactly what we need here. Something small, lightweight, portable, and something we can fire a few tools off of. I do like the design. My first impression is on the bottom is some really hefty rubber, rubber feet, which is great. That's going to help kind of dampen vibrations. It might make it a little quieter. Um, the tank is bolted inside this frame rail, which is nice. It's, it's kind of like a bumper rail. It's a roll cage kind of thing. It's not lightweight at all. It's very hefty. Seems to be built right. Peacock valves on the bottom. You can get to it really easy if you need to drain the tank. That is awesome. I like how it is recessed just inside the bumpers. So if you were to drag this across the bottom, you wouldn't bust the peacock valve off. Very good design there. Uh, on your face plate here, uh, everything is easy to get to. Uh, you have your tank pressure, which is here. And then you have your regulated outlet pressure, which is here. So it does have a regulator on it. You can regulate it if you need to. Uh, and then you have two outputs. So if you had a couple of nail guns, you could definitely plug them in at the same time. Now, one thing I am going to say is this is an oilless compressor. Personally, I hate oilless air compressors. I have not found one that has been a good one. However, Fortress has designed one that I believe is a good one, and I think it actually rivals California Air's style of these compressors. My big complaint on an oilless compressor is it's loud. They are horribly it's just the pitch just drives me nuts. I really can't stand the sound of them. Uh, I also have had bad experience with other friends who have owned the oilless compressors and they just didn't hold up. Uh, again, that being said, this is a different design than that style of compressor. These are a little quieter, allegedly a lot quieter. We're going to find out here in a second. Now, taking a look at the backside, we can see that it is a double-headed compressor. We can also see that the cage that was in the front also comes all the way around here to the back and protects the backside of the compressor. So again, if you were to drag it or hit something or bump something, this would prevent you from tearing up the compressor. Really good design. Well done. And then there's even some cable management. Again, really good design. They've welded these hooks onto the side. You can just keep your cord there. It's nice and tight. Great design. Absolutely love it. The switch is just like any other air compressor switch. It's just tucked inside the rails here for protection as well. And it's just got an on-off lever. Pretty, pretty standard for any other compressor. Now it's going to be very difficult for you, the viewer, to be able to hear just how loud this is because microphones don't really deliver the exact sound level that I would be hearing here live. However, if I continue to talk when I turn the unit on, that will help you some to understand just how loud it is. Now, I'm going to say that it is extremely quiet. If I were to have a conversation with somebody with good hearing such as myself, I don't even think I would have to raise my voice. It is a lot quieter 
than my Kirby vacuum cleaner. Now, it's a little louder than a library, but uh, it's definitely a lot quieter than a vacuum cleaner. So their chart seems to be right on par, as funny as that is. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with how quiet the unit is. Now, I wish I'd have started from zero to a hundred. It fills this tank in no time at all. So let's do a cut and I'll train all the air out of here and then we'll record it and show you just how fast you can get to, a, looks like about 125 PSI in here. So again, it's a two gallon tank. It is at zero PSI. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna see how long it takes to go from zero to the alleged 135 PSI, which I believe that's actually where the needle was when it shut off. So let's find out now. And you can see it's climbing extremely quick. So we're right at 90. It's 120. And I would say that's 135 PSI. Now this is my everyday go-to air compressor. You guys have seen this a million times in my videos. I'll put a link up here. It's actually something I built. It is using a central pneumatic air compressor back here. Uh, it just seems to be a workhorse for me, but I want to turn it on so you can compare the noise level. Now I have to almost yell at the microphone for you to hear me. And this is probably the standard sound noise level of pretty much every oiled air compressor out there. So I'm gonna to have to say, I'm really impressed with this little compressor. It just did a fantastic job at, uh, you know, filling up the air tank. It's extremely quiet. It's extremely well engineered. Uh, I really think that uh, Harbor Freight's higher quality tools are becoming pretty good, extremely good actually. And so hopefully that helps you decide if the Fortress air compressor is worth it for you. I think it's a really good unit and I just wanted to give you a fair and honest quick unboxing, quick review of what these are because there's a lot of talk about them and I really wanted to see if the hype was what it really was and quite honestly it appears to be. If you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. Normally I do a lot of build it or do it yourself type videos. You might find them interesting, maybe even entertaining a little bit. Or then again, you might not like my stuff at all.